Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. It's one of my replays and I'm in the Shima at your 10 Japanese destroyer. I'm on map Sleeping Child, it's a free pronomination game. Tier 10 battle with a few poor tier 8s and obviously there's a carrier and a sub because there always is. There's a Des Moines for Raider, but the Des Moines doesn't seem to be on this side. Now I've already found an Ölan and a Khabarovsk. The Öland seems to be running away. Nobody is interested in shooting the Khabarovsk. Now I'm not inside the cap because the Yu Yang went there. So we had two destroyers spawn on this flank. The Yu Yang went for the objective. So I decided I will go and provide some scouting. And considering that I've already uh, discouraged the Öland from pushing in further. I think that's working pretty well. I might also be able to get some troops here into the Khabarovsk. It's... I mean, I don't know, right? It's obviously somewhere behind this island, but it might have pushed in further. It might just be angled against me, so we'll see. On the bright side, I got the top into the Schlieffen, so that's always nice. And there is the Khabarovsk, and there is... Ah, uh, damn it, I think it's a little bit too far forward. I needed to reverse a bit more there to take a top. It looked like it was coming around here, this side of the island. Maybe with my next launch I can... Be a bigger threat. Obviously I have to stay a little bit away from the Schlieffen. Schlieffen is a dangerous ship with powerful secondaries. And it has Hydro. So on the left side it looks like both teams don't care about the AE cap which is weird. We still have ships here pretty much in the center. I'm not sure what they are doing. Our carrier is positioned very aggressively. Let's hope that works out. So overall it's a bit madness there. It looks like we're getting the center which is nice. I'm not sure why our Shima and our sub are here in the one line with zero support that Montana is leaving for whatever reason. I'm, I'm not sure what those ships are doing down there in the uh, win A and B. What are they even shooting from them? Right? What do they want to engage? Meanwhile my torpedoes are almost ready again. And RPF is pointing towards, uh, I suppose, the Shimmer here. So the enemy team has three destroyers here. And with the Schlieffen gone, they are now out of support. Now, obviously, three destroyers are still uh, dangerous to me. Especially the Khabarovsk is, uh, well, a good gunboat. And my support isn't that close either. Now the Yu Yang is doing a great job of uh, keeping that cap contested, I have to say. So the, uh, with the Yu Yang fighting for the objective, it allows me to basically scout this area. Now I have stopped the enemy destroyers from coming through this flank. Unfortunately, I don't really have many ships here that I'm protecting, I suppose. Mostly just the, the defense there. Meanwhile, the Conqueror is sort of coming... Oh, I found the Shimmer. Now, I do have some torps going that way, but it doesn't look like they're going to hit, which is a shame. Got a nice hit into the Shimmer, and here I've decided to switch to the Khabarovsk. Mostly because the cover is the bigger threat to me, right, and has to die. Like, obviously, a Shimmer duel. I'm feeling a lot more confident in that than fighting a Khabarovsk. So if we take that out... And sadly, it didn't get to either there. Now, I'm getting a little bit too much attention, so I have to disappear into my smoke screen. But yeah, if I can take out that Khabarovsk with... My team can take out that Khabarovsk. It allows me to hunt the Chimmer a little bit more. Now, there are some troops incoming. There is still one launcher remaining. So, oh, there is the cross swap. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Meanwhile, on the left flank, <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Like, our team is ignoring A, the enemy team is ignoring A. Our team is just really questionably positioned on the left flank. Yeah, on the right flank, our team is doing somewhat fine. Like, that Yu Yang that has managed to take the cap, that's doing a lot of work. That Schlieffen here is helping. The defense is here. The Yamato is a late arrival, but it is moving forward. So I gotta say it's interesting because our team is doing relatively well on this side. But on the other side it's just... They're all just confused I guess. Okay so... 
Maybe I should have shot the cover off skill, but I don't have a smoke ready myself, so I have no way to to disappear. And having three destroyers shoot me for 20 seconds seems problematic. Also, the Kabarovsky is now inside the smoke screen and not visible. So most likely I would have done some damage to it. It would have survived and then I would have been punished a lot. Now, here I've decided to shoot the Erlan, but I... Uh, the well, I got it anyway. So the... Uh, what do you call it? The lock-on was missing there by my last salvo because the game is way too buggy and lock-on has been broken for a long time. But thankfully, I still got it. Now anyway, where was I, right? Yeah, I have a smoke screen here, so I, when I decided to shoot there, I was able to safely escape into the smoke screen. So there wasn't as much risk with everyone, like, farming me. Now, I have the defense here with me. So I do have some fire support. The Erland is gone. And now it's the Kabarovsk and the Shimana. The Kabarovsk is on very low health. Obviously, I don't want to be spotted here. And oh, damn it, I lost the defense. That's bad because I was hoping, right, that I could, like, spot the cover here and have the defense take it out. Then again, it's on very low health. So I'd probably be able to take it out myself. It should emerge here at some point, right? My smoke is almost ready again too, but there isn't really much here. Oh, there is the Shimmer. Yeah, I don't want to shoot the Shimmer. I want to... Like the... Oh. Oh, the cup is dead. Never mind. I will shoot the Shimmer. <laughs> like, Kabarovsk's DPM is something you don't want to underestimate and if even if it only has like a 2000 health right if it's sitting inside a smoke screen can shoot you and you can't fire back it will take you out very quickly especially if you're that close now i have some torps going towards that smoke screen i will pass by it here i might send some more fishes in there overall we are one ship behind now when you look at the points, the points counter is buggy. We are the ones who have the uh, 499 points and the enemy has less, right? So uh, in the last replay, I thought they might have fixed this, but obviously they haven't. <laughs> Not sure why. I think there was one replay where it wasn't buggy, but you know, here. Sick. So we are the ones with the points lead. Now the Shimmer is gone. Together with the Yu Yang, I... Well, we took it out. Now, the left side, the enemy team has taken A at some point. Our ships are still useless over there. And uh, we'll have to see what the enemy does from here on. There is a Des Moines that's in the center, which means it's going to cover the B cap. So that could be an issue in the future. The enemy carrier has thankfully not been an, not been a problem for me so far. Neither has the sub because the sub is on the other side. But we are potentially closing in on the carrier, right? The carrier was last spotted here on this island and it looks like it's still there because we can see the plane circling here, right? So the carrier should still be in the same spot and maybe we can actually take it out here. Now the good news is the carrier is with its nose wedged against the island somewhat. Not in a good position to flee, right? Because it can't, well, it can't really go forward here. So it would have to maneuver a little bit to get out of this, which takes time. If you have to like turn away with reversing. Now also the carrier hasn't quite realized yet that we are here, I suppose. Which is weird because uh, really obvious. <laughs> See, it's not really coming this way yet. Like, I mean, the carrier is spotted, right? It should know this. And they lost this flank, so it also should know where we are coming from. Now, the Yuang has torps going this way, and hopefully the torps will do that. I'm not sure, though, right? I'm, I don't think he'll get enough torpids to sink it, but we'll see. I have some torps going this way, too. I should probably use my other launcher against the Conqueror. No, the Conqueror is running away, though. Okay, so the Yu Yang has decided to 
smoke up and shoot. I think my torpedoes should do the trick anyway, so that might be a bit of a waste. But I'll keep it spotted for the Yu-Yang. There's no reason not to. The planes are coming this way, so the carrier has finally realized that we are here. I'm trying to slow down. Hopefully the planes won't get close enough to spot me. And yeah. I mean, carrier should realize that if it's still spotted, there has to be something else. But it looks like it's looking at the wrong place. Well, in the end my hopes did arrive and sink in. Now the Hindenburg and the Conqueror are pushing in. Both very healthy ships that have uh, failed to realize where the battle is. But maybe the Hindenburg has finally found out. And Hindenburg has very powerful Hydro and it's coming for the smoke gen right. Currently I'm still providing some spotting for my Yu-Yang. And I'm also waiting for my torps to reload. Now, I want to torp the Conqueror potentially when it comes around here. But I also want to help against the Hindenburg. Now, it looks like my other Shimmer has torps going for the Conqueror. And it doesn't look like the Conqueror is changing its speed much. Well, I, I'll have one... Like, uh, I didn't aim it directly at the white line because... The Conqueror is going to encounter the other Shimmer's Torps first and afterwards it's likely to slow down. So it makes no sense to go for the white thing. Right. Now that it sees the Torps, it will maneuver. Now I should probably be sending more Torps towards it. Instead I keep sending them towards the Hindenburg. Mostly because I'm hoping to cross top it between me and the Yu Yang. And I want to help the Yu Yang a bit. And maybe I was overestimating the... My allies torps there because I think like that Shima's torps all missed and I only got two hits in so. Bit of a mistake there. I should have sent more fish towards the Conqueror and less towards the Hindenburg. Now I do have a smoke ready myself and I've almost been caught here. The energy mine has been sunk a while ago so I'm no longer in danger of getting raided. at. The Conqueror has no tools to detect me. So the only real issue I have is the Hindenburg, but so far it looks like it's going behind this island. And I also... I I just have to stay six kilometers away from it, right? And I do have an exit here in between those islands in front of me. For now, I'm using the smoke not just to hide from the Conqueror, but also to shoot it. I got a fire going on it, which is nice. And we all have a lot of stuff. Send its way, there are more torps incoming, more people shooting it, and it is down. Now this is uh, 5 against 4, so pretty close in that regard, but we had 905 points. <laughs> it's it's so confusing looking at the point screen and seeing the, the enemy at, uh, at a lot of points, when in reality it's us. But you know what I mean. What's one more bug in this bug infested game, right? Now, I do have some fish going towards the battleship, but it is getting close and my smoke is running out, so I will need to evacuate before it spots me. I'll even use a speed boost. And I cut this a little bit close because it almost got into detection range, but now I can flee here. It looks like our Essex might be hunted by, I think by the enemy destroyer. So maybe I can go over there and help out. Our starting grad is getting low, but well, the enemy is dead and uh, we win, I guess. So yeah, ship-wise it wasn't that decisive, especially since we found a few low health ones, but the enemy just ignored objectives. And once again, ignoring objectives is not a winning move. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time.